and welcome to River City Pets with our friends from 6th Street Vet. Dr. Mike is here and Mojo, who you can't see right now, but I have a strong feeling you are going to get a little celebrity guest appearance from Mojo here before it's all said and done. And you've brought a friend with you today. I did. This is Nisha Butterfield. She's from Bark and Bake because, uh, you know, last segment we talked about foods that were dangerous and not good for your pets. So I thought it might be fun today to talk about human foods and some treats that can make good treats and safe things for your pet to have because we love giving our pets treats and you have created something wonderful it's, it's a healthy delicious looking even to humans <laughs> treat for your pet that's all organic so can you talk us through one of your specialties i think it's a a puff of some what is cream it? puffs cream, pu Puffy cream, cream puffs. puffs yes ma'am okay good nisha let's see what's in it i know it's going to be all good ingredients because dr mike said it was <laughs> <laughs> grounded oats okay and then you would add your water and coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And then you would stir it all together. Usually I have a mixer, so don't make fun of me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, because you want it to be nice and correct, smooth, Correct, correct. It, it mixes about 10 minutes, and it gets okay. nice and firm. And then it would come out to this, which we don't use dyes. We use natural vegetables and fruits to make the colors. Oh, okay. So this was actually blueberries, and the longer you let it steep, the more color it is. You know what? That's so interesting because as when I saw that sitting in the bowl, I actually was thinking to myself, now it's the food coloring. Yes. But no. it's not. No, ma'am. And you have raspberries, blueberries, and then some other roots and so yes, forth on the table to make the color. Yes, ma'am. And then, of course, the carrots would make the peach or yellow if you want it. The red cabbage would make the purple. <laughs> now we have somebody who's very interested. Yes. Yeah. And then the darker purple. <laughs> so Mojo wants to know, well, then what's next? And then you would obviously do the flavor that Mojo likes, which is the peanut butter. Okay. And another ingredient that I'm not going to mention. Okay. Because it's cream cheese. Oh. It's yumminess. And then Mojo... We get his little cream puff. Look here. We might get him up on the table if we try. Look here. So now, Come on. are we counting calories for book. our pets, Dr. Mike? You know, everything in moderation, right? And so, does Mojo get eight or ten bark and bake treats a day? He'd like to, but he doesn't quite get quite that many. But a couple treats here and there is perfectly fine. And one of the things that's good to do is the small treats like this for a big dog. The act of getting the treat is what they love, so it doesn't have to be a huge thing every time you treat them. A couple little treats here and there make, means just as much to them as some big one. And, and Nisha even is working on, she has some diet treats too that are great. Reduced calorie treats, which yeah. is amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, Because you shouldn't feel deprived. It's just like with Correct. human beings, I feel like, Correct. right? And it's quality, or quality over quantity, so. So tell yeah. me about some of the, the things you do, the gift baskets. I do nice. sweet potato for the vegetarians. Ah. And I also do apple crisp, and I can do green beans, and we do banana chips. And then I have the favorite, peanut butter, which is just peanut butter with honey. And then I do grass-fed beef jerky. <laughs> oh, wow. So you're, so you're sometimes coming across dogs that are eating probably better than their Correct. humans. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma but it's Everything important. We love okay. our animals, and we want to make sure that they are as healthy as we are. If we're trying hard, they should be trying hard, too. Now, do you have a brick-and-mortar location? Or no, you... ma'am. I'm okay. actually just website-based, and I do Fernadina every Saturday. Okay. Well, wonderful. We're, we're going to make sure, by the way, that everybody knows how to reach <laughs> you. And also, now they know they know they can rewatch this and learn how to make some treats of their own. And, and Dr. Mike, I want to go back to something you just said about how the bigger the dog doesn't mean the bigger the treats because it is actual the, the, the behavior mojo, itself. Mojo, he's are just... there are there any things around your house you can give them that would be human food sure you know things like um green beans like what nisha was saying apple slices are perfectly good a little bit of peanut butter like we talked about last time not mm -hmm. the sugar-free just regular natural peanut butter stuff like that is fine little piece of cheese here and there um, and, uh, you know, and then these treat situations, you can find recipes to make them yourself. I'd love to do that, but no time, no time sure. for the shopping, the baking. That's why it's great to have people like Nisha. <laughs> and, and Mo would, would definitely like more stuff from Nisha. Oh, gosh, I wish we could have Mojo on for us for every segment we do from now on. Wouldn't <laughs> that be like amazing? would like that if there's peanut butter. <laughs> if you would like to contact Bark and Bake for a sweet treat for your pet, visit their website, barkandbake.com. And if you want to reach out to Dr. Mike, like I did last week, I had something I just wanted to discuss. You can call 6th Street Vet, and the number there is 259-2200. And, of course, you can rewatch this segment on our website at rivercitylivetv.com so you can make your own treats if Good need boy. be. Thank you, Mojo. Yes, thank, thank you, you, Mojo. <laughs> and, and thank you, Dr. Mike. You're welcome.